Welcome back to the group chat on Footy Accumulators, where I'm joined, as always, by the man himself, Alan McAnally. Hi. And a guy who has played for both of the teams that are in our match in focus today. Can't keep him alive. Paul Dickoff, thank you. All right, hi, see you. Good to see you, Paul. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, did you know that Paul had played for four Premier League title-winning teams... Mm, good stuff. When they won the team, but uh, and he uh, and you never won the title, did you? No, I don't know if that's a, a stat I'm quite. Accurate. I know whipping out all the nice stats. What a welcome, eh? Oh, no, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> won a few trophies, did you? I was good. Yeah, a couple. <laughs> yeah, but having said that, I mean it's uh, well, to, well. Listen, there's a there's a Champions League one for me. I played for three and didn't win it. Hey, right. Celtic, Aston Villa and Bayern Munich. It's, it's not a competition this year. Yeah, I know. Do you know what, Paul? You're welcome back next week. You can go. Listen, out. hang on a minute. Like so g- give us the four teams then. Yeah, uh, Arsenal. And yeah. the manager was? It was George Graham. George. Yeah. Blackburn Rovers. Oh, Blackburn, yeah. Yeah, when Graham soon signed there. Oh, there you go. Leicester City under Mickey Adams. Was Mickey Adams the yeah, manager? And of course. And fourth? Of course. Leicester City. Yeah. The one and only Manchester City. Manchester City. Who's the manager? Um, but you had a few. Uh, yeah, I had about 17 managers there now, but funny enough, when I signed in the, from the August to the January, I had five managers. Five managers? Five managers, yeah. So they went signed. through a real torrid time then, Paul, didn't they? Signed on Friday for Alan Ball, oh, who then man, resigned, yeah. got sacked on Sunday. I was like, thanks for that, mate. <laughs> and then Asa Hartford, then Steve Coppel for 30, 39 days. Really? Wow. And Phil Neal and Frank Clark. What, what were you doing to him? <laughs> yeah, the see, the, the see, the, see the game at Wembley when you scored the goal against Gillingham, you put it in the top corner. Yeah. I wonder where Man City would be had he not popped that one in. <laughs> Who was the manager that day? Sir Joe Royal. Was Joe the manager at City then? Joe was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, I forgot about Joe, actually. Yeah, when the club was in that turmoil and everything else, Joe was the one that came in and just stabilised the whole thing. You know, you think Premier League clubs now have 25 pros. 25 players in their squad. Yeah. Joe had 56 when he wow. came in. Because each manager was allowed to sign their own players without getting a defender. Oh, and how yeah. Joe managed that was just phenomenal. What a guy. Brilliant. Four Premier League teams, Blackburn, Leicester, Manchester City and... Arsenal. Arsenal. Thank you very much for joining us again, Paul. To the bets, as usual, we'll have our Nat Challenge, the group chat, Acker, and this week we'll have a special hashtag Your Odds Match in Focus selection for you, boosted by our friends at William Hill. Uh, stay, t- stay tuned also to see how the group chat made its way onto Soccer Saturday last weekend. You need to stay tuned for that. It's very, very good. Right then, let's kick things off with the match in focus. So first off, chaps, what are your thoughts on Arsenal Man City? Yeah, might as well. Again, there's two years Rex teams yeah. uh, hang on a minute just before we get there Manchester United yeah, can we move on on that one yeah, that... can we move on on that one no no hey, look you've got to say Manchester United deserved it yep. you know, I found it really difficult mm. doing the, the cool comms and the radio for it and mm-hmm. obviously what Ivan City win but for 20-25 minutes in the first half you've got to say oh they got his tactics right um, Martial was very good but Rashford and Daniel James you know, they could have been three or four up. Yeah. Just yeah. Scored, but oh, God. I thought City were going to get back into it. Yeah, they were. Oh, no, to be fair, they, they almost did, to be fair. So, so, I mean, it's not doom and gloom. They've got a chance to go to Arsenal, who are struggling as well, mm. haven't they? Yeah, they are. You know, I know they came back the other night there against West Ham. Mm. Uh, but Arsenal haven't won at home uh, since, I think it was the 6th of October, 1-0 yeah, against Bournemouth. That's a big problem. So as long as that, yeah. Yeah, it's a long, long, long time. Especially, especially if City score first. Yeah. You know, then it, that would be a problem the, for me. The natives are restless. They yeah. wait the minute. You know, they want to get the new manager in as quick as they yeah. can. Um, but as always, I can see Manchester City. The players they've got, and during the week, um, the Champions League, you know, they managed to rest De Bruyne, Sterling. Well, Zagreb scored David first. Silva, Fernandinho. Mm-hmm. You know, but, yeah, but talking about Abama Yang, Lacazette, Pepe, got mm-hmm. a great goal the other night. Yep. And you've got a few injuries in Man City as well, Stones. Not kept a clean sheet Yeah. Um, in 10 games, now, I think it is. Would it be unfair for me to say this is a humongous game for Manchester City or they are simply out the title race? Um, you know what I'm like, I'm always... Belief. What is it, 11? 11 points? Oh, 14. 14. You see, there you go. I mean, 14. if they don't beat Arsenal... I think they have to. Look, they've got to take any <clears> chance at all and... You know, I don't think they have now. Um, they've got to win every single game because you just can't see Liverpool dropping points. At the no. Moment. Um, Alan, can you see Lundberg setting up differently against Man City? Uh, I think it'll be. I think it'll be determined on who's available for him yeah. with the, with the injuries that they've, they've got. I think he's trying to shoehorn Chambers into the back four. Um, I like Obama Yang a lot. Mm. To be fair, uh, I've had a bet on him every year since he came here to be top goal scorer. Because I think he, he he's a goal machine. I think he's he's got really good. Uh, the only thing is against Manchester City, I don't see 
Freddie Lundberg going toe to toe with Manchester no. City. I see him being a bit more less aggressive. I don't even know if he'll play. I expect him to play one up top. Yeah. Five across. Five across. It'll be Pepe one side and whomever the other side. And presumably a back here. I don't think Lacazette will play. And I think he'll, he'll just be on the. Th- I expect him to play two home midfield players, which may be Chambers, incidentally, along with Chaka, mm-hmm. depending on how he plays. That would mean having to bring David Luiz back in. Also, which, yeah. but then again, I don't think he's in a position where he can't. Although, can you can you trust David Luiz? Mm. Simply not, not really. I mean, you don't really want him, you know, driving into battle with you, do you? Because he's not been like that so mm. far. It's a huge game. I yeah. mean, the only thing is, if Arsenal start well, like you said, the natives will be delighted and it puts a bit of pressure on Man City. But like I said to you, having conceded first against Zagreb, then you score four goals. Yeah. Even I think if Arsenal, I think I think I just think City will have too much for them. So we're all agreeing that we can only see it going one way, really. Well, absolutely. Well, Arsenal are limited to uh, seventeen to four, so just over fours for the draw. Man City four to nine on William Hill. Thanks to William Hill for those odds. So four to nine actually City. I don't think is too bad. Now next manager odds, Paul mm-hmm. from William Hill. Ancelotti even money. I didn't even know he was he was that short for the job. I'll just run through them. Yeah. Lundberg fours, Arteta fives. Eddie Howe 16s, Bielsa. Not happen- that 67. one's not happening. Right, I was going to say, we'll give you a third no. new one if Bielsa gets Nothing. a job. Ancelotti, even money, do you if see I that? If I was thing? Arsenal on the board, I would do everything I could to get Ancelotti. No, Why? Everton. No, I can't see it. And no disrespect to Everton, I think if you're somebody like Carlo Ancelotti, who's won Champions League, he's won everything everywhere yeah. he's been. And you've got the choice between the two of them with the setup. And the training facilities and the players. Arsenal get some good players. Mm, no, absolutely. Yeah. London. I think. Do you think he would slot in there? I think slot he'd be great. You know, you, you speak to people who have played under him, the Chelsea guys when he was there, and they all talk about not just what a fantastic tactician he is, but what a mm. fantastic bloke he is. And Arsenal needs somebody to go in there to give it the field effect. Right? And communicate really well with them, Absolutely. I think. Yeah. I'm going to throw a curveball in. Proper curveball. <laughs> Things are not going well at Bournemouth. And William Hill are given a 16 to 1 on Eddie Howe. Would that not be something they might be? At the back of the mind thinking because his stock's still pretty high, although Bournemouth have not had a great yeah, time at the moment. He's done it unbelievable at Bournemouth, well know that. Um, he's not spent any money. But every time somebody's getting linked with Arsenal, he's always in there. And yeah. If you're the Arsenal board and you've got a short list, I think Eddie Howe would have to be on it. Yeah. Definitely. Even money, Ancelotti with William Hill, just think uh, that might be the way to go because he's gone pretty even. I didn't even know he was he was up for the oh, running absolutely. this morning. Yeah, absolutely. Right then, guys, let's move on. Who are we fancying for your hashtag, your odds special with William Hill? Just remember, you'll be able to back this selection as well via the Footy Accumulators betting hub app. Okay, we're going to go, it's always a tough one, this one, uh, our uh, hashtag, your odds special. But we've gone for one, I think, every chance of happening. Both teams to score. Yeah. Every chance. Mm-hmm. Chaka to get booked. There was actually a little start. I should have gone. I should have back. Chaka to get booked. Fernandinho to get booked. And Chambers to get booked as well. I'll, I'll be shown a card rather, which could be yellow or red. Chambers four yellow cards in ten Premier League games. Chaka four yellow cards in the Premier League. And Fernandinho uh, three yellow cards mm. in the Premier League. So the uh, hashtag Euro special bet is going to be both teams to score. Chaka, Fernandinho. In chambers to be shown a card. Remember, you can find your hashtag Eurod special uh, with William Hill in the Football Accumulators Betting Hub app. Yes, keep your eyes peeled for that. Now, as usual, we have our nap challenge, which viewers of Soccer Saturday may have seen get a mention last weekend, Al. Hmm. Because his team have had so much possession and turned in the half chances, not really. In the group chat, I tipped up Blackburn and they still haven't scored. I'm not happy. Nil nil. Fair play for that, Al. That oh, was yeah, good. Exactly. I, he was I, not happy, was he? I think I've managed to keep my job only. I actually said it twice, so I thought if I'm going to do it once, I may as well do it twice. I think it went over everyone else's heads, but we well, knew what you were talking yeah, about, didn't Jeff, we? Yeah, so that's Jeff what matters. Didn't come back, which is the main <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> now then, it's time to have a look then at the results of last week's selections. So, Alan, you went for Port Vale to beat Walsall, who got beat 1 0. I'm going to interrupt you. Go on. Port Vale were the only English team, I think, undefeated at home. And then the McInally Cus goes on. <laughs> Sorry, Port Vale. Did you beat 1 0 by Walsall? Do you know what? You weren't the only curse because, Paul, you went for Reading <laughs> to beat Birmingham, who also got beat this time 3 2. Sure. Now, as a result of that, you both have a forfeit, right? I know. I, th- I feel like I want it to be a-, a financial forfeit that can benefit us all here. Yeah? yeah? That's okay. So, 
for them. Yeah, apart, yeah, from, us, apart from you, yeah. pair. Is, are, we, are we agreed? Yeah, I, you, I mean, you don't deserve it. what you want to do. So, I reckon, you know how every week on the Map Challenge, uh, we give you the chance to win £50? Yeah. I reckon you give another £25, mm -hmm. you give £25, so we can double the amount that you can win on the Nap Challenge. And then that benefits you guys at home. I get to sit back and watch them give up their money. I thought you do you like that? Give it, give it to the, the Emma Jones charity. No, like, I'd, like, hang on. We'll go, talk go, about go, that go, off air as well. L'Oreal. Because oh, you're worth it. He's just jealous that he's not got any hair. Yeah. 50 quid for your hair <laughs> No, do you know what? I can. I'm ignoring him now. Right, I can hear you but guys at home agree with like this. That. So that means that the 50 okay. quid is doubled, right, for the nap challenge. All you need to do for this, by the way, uh, is let us know on Twitter what you're backing at Footy Accumulators. Use the, use the hashtag, hashtag the group chat. We are doubling it. Thanks to these guys, they can make your Christmas, right? 100 quid, yeah? Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. We'll yeah. go with that. Okay, uh, what else what are we going to... And our, oh, yeah, we're on our naps, of course. Our naps yep. now, this week's naps. And remember, the naps that we go for, they have to be even money or better. You've gone for this week. I've gone for Stoke. Oh, it's which I, I'm home. doing the game for Sky Saturday. I see Stoke against Ready. Yeah. Hey, they did all right it last weekend. Against Luton. Yeah. Paul O'Neill's in there now. Um, Joe Allen with a brace. Joe Allen with a brace. Mm. Um, Richard Shawcross. Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Um, <laughs> back in the team, clean sheet. Um, and with the players they've got Mickey O'Neill will get the best out of them first. OK, even Ooh. money Stoke are. Thanks to William Hill for that one. I've gone for Brentford at home to Fulham. Really? Brentford. Well, on Wednesday night, they're, listen, they're a tough team to beat Brentford at home. They just turned over Cardiff at the weekend. Who they, Leeds they, have they, got. They, your mob play Leeds. Leeds, yeah. Uh, sorry. They, Leeds Cardiff, play Cardiff yeah. on Saturday. And they're 23 to 20. I just think it's a huge price for Brentford. It's a tough game, actually, because Fulham's only... Or is it two, three, yeah. three miles down the road? But I've gone Brentford twenty three to twenty. Thanks to William Hill for that. And uh, uh, Paul's gone for Stoke even money to win at home to Reading. Right, just to recap then, Paul Stoke. They're beat, yeah, they're beating Reading, uh, who who obviously let you no, down. Let you down last week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Alan, you've gone for Brentford yeah. to beat a Fulham. Yeah. Now, as usual, we'll be ending with the group chat ACA, uh, which includes uh, three teams selected by the Footy Accumulators followers. So thank you very much for that. And one team, of course, that is decided by these guys. Now, uh, the three teams you've gone for this week are Chelsea to beat Bournemouth, Inform Oxford to win away MK Dons, and Joey Barton's Fleetwood to beat Gillingham. So. Who are we adding to that? Well, I had a look. William Hill had given us about 72 for that treble, mm -hmm. so we have, to, we have to add another one. We were going to go for Leeds, but you're scared. I feel like if I, if I do, if I do this again, they're on such a good run, I don't want it to be a banana skin. I don't want to jinx it. Well, they were, they were quite short, actually. And when we tried to boost the odds, it was only going to get us maybe just over fours. Now, if you're going to get 100 quid... Yeah. For for, for, treating, for the for, for the nap challenge, yeah, the nap that. challenge. Then we thought we need to try and boost it to get at least sevens or eights. Make now, it worth your while. Now you two have thrown one in. That I'm not really that happy with. Uh, yeah, Sheffield United to beat Aston Villa. No, 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 no. Sheffield United at home. Flying. Yeah, it's two obviously two sides that have gone up yeah. from the Championship, and I just can see. I can only see this going Chris Wilder's way. I think um, Villa struggled. I know Big Al doesn't want to talk about it. No, um, I'm not talking weeks. about that. But I watched them against Leicester, and <clears> no disrespect to any Aston Villa fans, <clears> but they just look totally out of the depth, particularly in the second half. And I feel as though Sheffield United are going to give it all they've got. At home. I'll tell you what will be in the Wilder's got them absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'll tell you what else will be tough for Villa. You know, going to Bramall Lane, you know, it's, it can be quite intimidating yeah. and it's uh, they'll need to be absolutely at their best. But anyway, we're going to go there. So, Oxford to beat Milton Keynes, Fleetwood to beat Gillingham, Chelsea to beat Bournemouth and Sheffield United to beat my beloved Aston Villa. And the good news is, if you're going to have that uh, accumulator, it will be around seven, thanks to William Hill. We might even try and get it boosted to a little bit more than that. And remember, we want to hear what you're backing this weekend. Include hashtag the group chat when you send in your bets on Twitter. And remember, you can win not 50, but 100 this week. And uh, the link to this boosted William Hill Group to ACA, as always, is going to be in the Footy Accumulators Betting Hub app as soon as possible. So please do keep your eyes peeled for that. We'll have a quick recap now to keep you guys in the loop. Uh, so the group chat bets are as follows. Arsenal v Man City, the hashtag your odd special is... Yeah, it's uh, both teams to score. Chambers, Fernandinho and Chaka to be uh, to be booked. Uh, and you'll see that in the Football Accumulators Betting Hub app, thanks to William Hill. You can indeed. And the Nap Challenge? Nap Challenge was uh, Stoke City, even money. Come on, Stoke. Bre uh, to beat uh, Reading. Yeah. Brentford at home to Fulham, 23 to 20. Fingers crossed. Not too bad. And the group chat, Acker. The group chat, Acker, with, uh, well, uh, kicking and screaming, it's uh, Sheffield United to beat Aston Villa. Fleetwood at home to Gillingham. 
Oxford to go to Milton Keynes and Chelsea to beat Bournemouth and we're hopefully going to be and again thanks to William Hill should be around sevens maybe even eights and remember if you like the sound of the of the hashtag your odds special and the group chat hacker you can back them both in the footy accumulators betting hub app so please do keep your eyes peeled because that will be on there as soon as possible right then that is it from us chaps thank you so much Paul for joining us once thanks, again yeah, I know you two have got a fancy dinner to go to that I'm not invited to so Alan McAnally as always thank you so much thank and you, thank Emma. you at home for joining us remember you must be over 18 to be a part of this and do make sure you are gambling responsibly. We will be back here at the same time next week.